Vashana Renee, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Latest Show. And this one I'm so excited about because we're talking about one of my favorite things, food, food, food. And we've got Angela here, and she is a food coach, and she's going to tell us how to eat some really good foods that are healthy for you and that's going to keep you looking good. And as you know, The Latest Show is all about healthy lifestyles, living your best life, People that enjoy a good life. So, Angela, how are you today? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for having me on the show. No problem. <laughs> and I know that um, on your Facebook page and on your website, you focus a lot of information on how to stay free from being having diabetes and mm -hmm. things like that and staying healthy. So, tell me a little bit about that. Well, actually, I was borderline diabetic mm -hmm. and 60 pounds overweight, stressed out. And really? doing a lot of business, mm -hmm. wasn't allowing God to do his work. I'm trying to help the Lord, and we know he don't need any help. None whatsoever. So <laughs> I wanted to um, just lose the weight, lose the stress. I was turning 40 years old, okay. and I was like, you know what? People said everything is going to go south, mm -hmm. east, west, and I rebuked that, and mm -hmm. I did something about it. I prayed, put on my boxing gloves. <laughs> the doctor said get that weight off and I mean right now he told me that this is serious you know diabetes is so um, prominent in the African American right. community mm -hmm. so what I tried to do is actually get in front of it before I became uh, type 2 Okay. and so I go out now and I teach people at the Whole Foods or mm -hmm. at churches or hotels or wherever trying to educate them about uh, eating well and since then I have created all of these meals yeah. and they just taste so good I teach people how to shop on a budget yeah that's and what I was going to ask you what are some of your services that you provide shopping on a budget uh, stress issues okay. how to get in front of the situation before it becomes a tsunami right and actually I teach you how to chef I will come into your home once invited mm -hmm. and I will help you cook okay. and show you how what works with what I actually would travel if you want to fly me out to to come to your home or venue or event yeah. we would do it nationwide we don't care but also I just consult you I go in your pantries and I teach you what's inside of those pantries can cause you to be either disease sick right. or healthy okay. and we just kind of get a big garbage sack and start trying yes. things yes. and I teach you how to read your bottles okay. and all things like that and so what was born was the book Loving the Foods that I used to hate living a diabetic and stress free life yes. that book has been a blessing to others yes. I had no idea helping myself would help others right. but that's what it's all about right yeah. oh I love it love it love it now we are going to dig in I see all right this masterpiece right here is not even finished but let's dig into what you have going on. All right, where I have is, is my wonderful ninja. I'm going to blend this up, but we have all types of fruit with our omega threes. We have the blueberries, all of the blueberries okay. from the raspberry, blackberry. Yeah. So we have and we're done. Okay. Okay. Pop it and then pour. Oh. Now I'm going to see if you like it. Yes, please do. <laughs> and this is our smoothie. This is Angela's Good Morning Juice. Yes. And so, but we have it like a smoothie. And that's something that you can like get together the night before. The night, the and night just pour it and it'll look it up. up. Right, exactly. But I just want you to taste it. Yes. Oh wow, that's that looks my favorite delicious. Point, my favorite and while I'm tasting this, please tell me what you have here. This now to figure out which. What have. we have here is if you ever have anything left over, keep in mind you can oh make popsicles. Lord. You love it. Oh my god. You goodness. can make popsicles out of it as well. So you can also oh use this as smoothies, juicers. But I am going to make a fun treat for the kids. So this is a great popsicle maker here it and throw chunks of like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so this is so good. You yeah. have two cutting boards. And the reason why I have two mm -hmm. cutting boards is because you'll always cut your chicken separate from anything else okay. if I was going to do any cutting. Right, exactly. But I've already done some pre-chopping. Mm -hmm. This is an organic pizza crust. Okay, and it's wheat too. This is a whole wheat okay. pizza crust. And I have my seasonings here. I call it my little healer. <laughs> and so what 
you want to do is you can just go to the dollar store and buy, buy your little paintbrush. Mm -hmm. And this is olive oil light. Okay. You get your big one at Sam's mm -hmm. and you just brush it on there. That's good to know that you can get it from the dollar store so because a lot of people don't want to eat healthy or say they're not eating healthy because it's so expensive it's, or because right. you can get junk food for so much cheaper. So it's good to know that you can, you know, still eat healthy that's for right. a good price. You can do it on a budget and right. in my book I talk about um, shopping at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And of course, the behavior of going to the grocery store. You shouldn't go when you're starving or when yes. you're hungry. I, learned that I feel like a crackhead. <laughs> I would go in there and I start fiending for stuff. And you don't want to do the good things. You want to just do the stuff that actually will, that you can just break open on the way home. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because once you go when you're hungry, you're tempted to get any and everything is opposed to the things that you actually need. Exactly. Now what is this that you're putting Now what we're here? loading up here is I promote herbs. Okay. I do not use seasonal salt. Okay. So I'm using from cilantro to tarragon to basil to mm -hmm pepper as well as uh, th thyme and uh -huh. I'm using oregano okay. and all of those great things right here and I like to season my crust up a little bit because it just kind of wakes it up and gives it a little flavor okay. and a lot of people say at times I'm not getting enough seasoning right. and even Mrs. Dash is bland but right. it wakes up if you use it with your um, your seasonings, mm -hmm. then it wakes it up. Okay. Now, what I did, I prepared yeah, some what grilled chicken. Look how good that yes. looks. Yes. Now, what is it? What do you have in there? Is that this more is, of the seasoning? This is uh, the olive oil light, okay. and it has a little bit of um. I got put a little oil on okay. there. It's the olive oil light, and I have with me just the tarragon, Mrs. Dash. I have uh, cilantro, oregano. Mm -hmm. Rosemary, oh. and these are great things that you can load up your healthy pizza. Right. We didn't use the red sauce. Right. I see that you didn't have any. Red it can sauce be here. a little fattening. So what we're gonna do is is use tomatoes, okay. organic tomatoes, yes. <laughs> and make it fun. I'm loving it already. Yeah. It's it's like and and I want to encourage people even on your show who will be watching your wonderful Ooh. show <laughs> that they can also have let the kids get involved yes because let let little Rodney or <laughs> or Susie or Janet or Felicia whoever yes. let them actually be a part of it you're right. in charge of this and that and also this is great if you're having girlfriends over don't announce this is healthy because right, they're exactly. going to their mind the mind yes. is so powerful they will yes. divorce the situation Situation before, before they, before to, they yes. want to sample it. So I wouldn't announce to the girlfriends right. that. Now after that, we're mm -hmm. going to load it up with some spinach. Yes. This is fresh spinach. Mm -hmm. And make sure you keep it clean and dry it off. These are spinach leaves. Okay. And just look how we're loading this thing up. Right. You have all of your veggies. Mm -hmm. You have your meat, your protein, and this is delicious to make quick at home. Yes. If you stand there and let someone make it, you could have done it yourself. <laughs> right, exactly. And you know that you were clean. Yes. So, and, and then I, 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 I sauteed, mm -hmm. let me get this right quick. I sauteed some, these are uh, onions, bell peppers. Mm -hmm mushrooms oh and all of those fun yes. things and all of this I love it because I know when I'm trying to cook something I want something as fast as possible Look and this fast. is something you can prepare <laughs> like you can do that the night before and then the next day just throw it all on the pizza put it, it, put it all together yes where where I wanted to show your viewers mm -hmm. how the bell peppers you can yes. get the mini bell peppers yeah. and it looks so good and it just keeps a long time in your fridge. Right. Now this is an organic tomato okay. and we're just going to load them up. Now is organic a lot different than just a regular tomato? Well you know I think the closer 
that it was made, mm -hmm. the less processing right, exactly. and going all through customs right, and exactly. places like that. And I didn't or understand organic at first, mm -hmm. but now I, I really understand it. But with organic, you still have to keep it clean. You right. have to don't don't get too happy. You right. have to make sure you do your research because mm -hmm. I can put organic on something right. and people are cloning their vegetables or cloning their meats right. and everything like that. So we still have to make sure we know exactly where it's coming from. Okay, perfect. And with all this said, you can also freeze some items to make mm -hmm. sure that these things are going to be uh, fresh okay. and it won't go bad. That's another thing of shopping on a a budget mm -hmm. is to make sure that you use your freezer bags as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Like I freeze my fruit, I mm -hmm. freeze my vegetables, so when I'm not using it, it's not going bad. Right, exactly. So that's, that's another thing is when you purchase something, you buy so much of, oh, I'm going to eat healthy and do this right, and then you buy so much and then you end up throwing it away because it goes bad. Exactly. <laughs> so. Just freeze it, and we don't want to miss out on oregano. Yeah, so that, in that case, you will not miss. I mean, you started with the seasoning, you yeah. ended with the seasoning. I don't think you're going to miss because you said you're not using salt or anything, which everybody uses salt and pepper for everything. You Correct. don't have to in this. Case. You don't have to. Now look at this. Yeah, this is fabulous. Yeah, it's ready, ready Ooh. for you to sample. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah. And then you have your drink, your little smoothie, yeah. and you have a wonderful dish. Didn't take long. It did not. <laughs> it did it not. Yes. This is, Love this is it. beautiful as yes. well. And, and not, not just the pizza, but also the drink as well. I mean, that is just yeah. amazing. This is, uh, it's a low budget dish. Yes. You did so you not have to spend a lot of money. And no. A lot of salt and the things that we love, but we don't need it. That's right. <laughs> it's just we easy. don't need it. Yes. Fun, quick. Uh, you you have all of your veggies. You don't have to worry about did I not get it. Right. And it's 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 a great alternative for the pizza lover who yes. wants to lose weight. Right. Exactly. If you're overweight, you're diabetic. Right. This is a great dish. Or even you. if you're not overweight, you if you just not, need to get your life together and you know, yeah, or you just want good food. I, I hate yes, you eat bad yes, now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This yeah. is a wonderful dish, and if you notice. My pan is not greasy. Right, exactly. Yeah, you that's, have a wonderful, yes. wonderful dish. Well, thank you thank so, you much, so much. much. Look, now look, I have to give you your time to shine. You all have right. to tell everyone how they can reach you, how to get in touch with you, all of that good stuff. Well, this was a wonderful show, and thank you for inviting me out. But my name is Angela H. Brown, and if you're looking for me in the Memphis area, mm -hmm. you can reach me at www.livingdiabeticfree.com and let me give you all of my programs. And also, you can reach me at 901-314-9806. Or why don't you email me at cherrywinepublisher mm -hmm. at yahoo.com. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Angela. Oh, this has been an amazing show. All of you that know me know that I love food. So I'm excited about this one. I hope that you are too. Until next time, bye.